Let's go. Okay. By the spring of 1862, the threat of a Confederate invasion into the New Mexico Territory had been placed aside. No more Confederates into the Territory meant that the, the second fort was no longer needed. A more permanent and substantial fort was needed to accommodate all the traffic that was ebbing and flowing along the Santa Fe Trail. That's where the third and final Fort Union comes into play. Built between 1862 to 1866, this fort could accommodate thousands as people were traveling along the Santa Fe Trail, those coming here to work, those coming in here to find medical needs, you name it, you're going to find it at Fort Union. Behind me are the historic remnants of the officers' quarters. These were actually the last structures built in the third fort. And the third fort was built roughly from the spring of 1862 all the way into the late summer of 1866. Now, if you were a young officer or an officer stationed out here in the Southwest, you would, want, you would have wanted to cross your fingers and hope that you could be here at Fort Union. A lot of modern amenities that were, that were located here just would not be found throughout the entire territory. Things like running water. In the sutlery, you would have found things like a billiards room, a bowling alley. There was a baseball team here. Fort Union was an incredible fort, widely plastered, painted white. It shined like a diamond. The way that the, the officers' quarters were set up, there were uh, two families on both sides and a common room in the middle, with exception for the post commander.